morning. This is Auntie Fee about the facts. Um, they say they have a new exclusive information uh, regarding the, uh, the murder investigation of Young Dolph. So let's check it out. Let's, let's listen together. Information in the murder of Memphis rapper Young Dolph. Here's what we know as of right now at news time. We have video of one suspect's arrest that you'll only see here on Fox 13. Plus information on a third arrest connected to this case. And we'll show you how the community worked with law enforcement to bring the investigation to this point today. Our team of reporters were spread out today, working sources, gathering exclusive new information. We have live reports from all three. Good evening, everyone. I'm Darcy Thomas. I'm Daryl Green. Today we found out new information about the hunt for the two men police say are responsible for the murder of young Dolph. Justin Johnson and Cornelia Smith are in custody nearly eight weeks after that murder. Fox 13's Jeremy Pierre is live tonight at Makita's at Airway and Ketchum. And Jeremy, a lot of resources went into these two arrests. Yeah, Daryl, check this out. We're talking at least eight local, state, and national law enforcement agencies. Eight. As Marshall's told me today, they received up to 500 tips on the whereabouts of Justin Johnson days after Young Dolph's murder here at Makita's Cookies on Airways. And get this, those tips, those tips right there, led law enforcement on a multi-state manhunt. It's a major case. Uh, it's, a, it's a big deal. And that it is. Less than 24 hours after learning of the arrest of both Justin Johnson and Cornelia Smith, the two men accused of killing young Dolph, we learned how it happened with the help of hundreds of tips from the community. We went through that process of uh, bending those tips and reaching out to our partners uh, across the southeast to help us. U.S. Marshals arrested Johnson in Brazil, Indiana, Tuesday outside of Terre Haute after receiving a tip of where he was, but not before searching for him in Atlanta, Houston, Dallas, Indianapolis, and Hampton, Virginia. Memphis Police Chief C.J. Davis told reporters the investigation continues on as the suspects have connections to crimes in and outside of Memphis. We are all working together. That's why I outlined all of those different uh, agencies because at some point in time in this investigation, our investigators have had touch points with various other individuals, other um, law enforcement personnel around the country. Davis said there could be more arrests in the death of young Dolph and other connected cases. It is very possible. It is very possible. Once we you know, conduct, continue to conduct this investigation, there's no telling where it could potentially lead. There could be other individuals that are implicated in this particular homicide. All right, here's information on when those suspects could be back in the city of Memphis as well as court dates. Cornelia Smith is scheduled to be in court tomorrow morning at 201 Poplar at 9 o'clock in the morning. I'll be live with coverage on that court hearing on Good Morning Memphis. Now, when it comes to Justin Johnson, when will he return to Memphis and face charges? That's still unclear. The U.S. Marshal said due to safety concerns. Now, what? Uh, Johnson, he waived okay. his right... And an extradition hearing is actually going to take place. We're live in Memphis tonight. Jeremy Pierre. What did he just? What did he just say?